Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike and today I'm going to go over the Works Landroid Zones uh, setting. I'm gonna do a quick little setup in my yard, kind of show you guys how to do it and how to use the app to actually, you know, set zone A, zone B, zone C, and zone D. I'm just gonna do a two zone setup right now, but it'll give you guys an idea and give you guys uh, the information to do it yourselves. So before I get started, I'm gonna ask that you guys please subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And also don't forget to give a thumbs up, hit the like button. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna get ready to install the wire. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strip it. All right. So now it's stripped. Just gonna twist it together. And what I'm gonna do, just gonna stick it in the red hole. Oh, let me twist the wire a little bit more together so it stays put. And so now there's little grooves. You can see kind of the little grooves right here. That's where the wire goes. And then now you just go around and you pound in the wire. Let's go ahead and start installing it. I think it says to go every six to 12 inches. And that's just so that the wire stays tight to the ground. If you let the wire come up, there's a chance it could get caught in the wheels. There's a chance it could get caught in the blades. And then you're gonna end up having broken wires and we don't want that. But because it's just temporary, I'm gonna go every couple feet, try to do a quick install. Hopefully it'll work good enough for what I want it to. And if not, well, I'll just try it again. So let me show you what I did here on the ground. So as I said earlier, strip the wire, stick it in the little brackets, little wire keepers, one, two, both ends of the wire. They both have to be connected or else it won't work. Got the wire coming out. And this right here is how you do the, the different zones. So, this right here is the boundary wire. I'm gonna call this one zone A. And if you look, you can see that, widen this out. You can see that here's one wire and here's the other wire, all right? So from the overhead view, see the two wires? It's roughly six inches, it's actually probably more like seven inches. And then here's where it kind of dips down. So here is the, the bottom of the dip and here is the other boundary wire. So once again, looking from overhead, it's about, I would say seven inches, maybe a little longer, maybe eight, one wire, two wire. All right, and the reason is, is because the Landroid isn't very smart, like I said. And so it's basically gonna follow the wire and then once you set up your zone, that's gonna be the start point and then it's gonna start going you know, left, right, uh, hit all the, the different boundaries and just keep mowing. If you have a big gap right here, there's a chance that it's gonna hit the gap and it's gonna go right on through and go to the other zone. So it doesn't know that I need to be in the right zone or zone A. It just knows that that's gonna be my start point. So, and then when we set it up, I've kind of already alluded to it, but the landroid is going to follow the wire once we set up zone A. If we say this point is zone A, this is where it's going to start mowing from. All right. Man, the sun just came out. All right. Then when we set up zone B, if we want the landroid to be in zone B, it's basically going to follow the wire all the way around. 
And then if we decide this right here is where we're going to start zone B, you know, right here, that's where it's going to take off and start mowing and mow zone B. The green light right here. So connection is good. So take my Landroid out. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up multi-zone. And it'll talk to you about it. You hit learn more. It'll show you what to do. So right now the same with Landry and its charging station. Tap define zones. Landry will start running over the boundary wire. Tap mark as your Landroid reaches zone one. Landroid will continue over the boundary wire. So it's just gonna follow the boundary wire. Repeat mark for other zones. And you just keep doing that. So we're gonna enable it. We're gonna start. And here it goes. It's just gonna follow the boundary wire. Now for this one, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi. So what I'm gonna do, is that one is right on the other side of my break. So I'm just gonna mark it. And now we're just gonna have to watch as it goes. It's gonna follow along the boundary wire. My dogs are pretty used to these because I've had this now for about a year, and so it doesn't really bother him anymore. Matter of fact, I've had to go and <laughs> actually stop the Landroid so it doesn't run over one of them because when they're laying in the yard, not a whole lot's gonna bother them. And as you can tell, it's really pretty quiet. The blades aren't spinning right now because if it was, you'd be able to hear the grass being cut. But when it's just running, it's, it's really very quiet. You can run it at night if you want to. However, I would not recommend that overseas. They have an issue with running it at night and it running over hedgehogs. So I have some rabbits in my yard. Last thing I want to do is have it running at night and come in, come out in the morning and there's a dead rabbit in my yard. So once again, right there, you want to have about six inches between the two wires. If you do not have six inches between the two wires, if you have them touching, uh, it'll cancel the signals out and then it won't recognize the boundary. And so that's the beginning of zone two. We're gonna go ahead and mark it. And that is it. Now we just have to follow it the rest of the way. And that's it. So now it's all set up. So you have to be online in order for this one to work. So now that the zones are set up, whenever you start it, so whatever the last zone was, it's gonna go and cut the other zone. So last time I did it, it was zone one. And so now it's looking for zone two. And so it's gonna follow the boundary wire all the way around until it gets to the point we marked on the app that zone two is. All right, so we marked zone two as soon as we made this turn, a couple, a couple feet in. Once it hits that, it should start mowing. And now it started mowing. And so this right here is a perfect example of what 
I was gonna talk about is that the way the Landroid works is if you lose internet connection, it goes off the wheel of rotation. So it's not gonna be exact. If you remember, I marked right about here for zone two. However, it didn't start mowing to right about here. So still in the same zone. So not really a big issue for me. Right here, I didn't have it staked down very tight. See how it's kind of loose. And so what happened is as it was going, it hit the wire and ended up, the wheel ended up catching it, lifting it up, it got stuck, and then it got an outside the wire error. All right, so that perfect reason why they want you to stake it every, I want to say six to 12 inches or 12 to 18 inches, something like that. So didn't mean for that to happen, but it did and it just shows you, hey, that's why you do it. That's why you stake it down tight. All right, we're going to test it out one more time to see if it goes to zone one again. And that'll be it. All right, now that's all set up. Now, if you look at my lawn, multi-zone is in. If you just want to hit zone two, you can put it to 100% and leave zone one at 50. We're going to go and we start it. And now it's searching for zone one. So it's gonna follow the wire until it hits zone one. And it just hit it. And now it starts to mow. So if you do not have Wi-Fi or your Landroid loses Wi-Fi while it's searching, it's going to look, or it's gonna go based off wheel rotation. So it might not be exact when, it might not hit the starting point exactly each time, but it's gonna be a good estimate and you'll be able to divide up your yard that way. And you know, as long as you don't set it right on the edge, you're gonna be in the right zone, regardless if it does five and a half wheel rotations or five wheel rotations. So pretty cool little, little uh, feature you can use on this, especially if you have multiple yards, you have different types of grass, one grass grows quicker than the other, you know, very user friendly once you set it up. And that's it. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. And once again, please subscribe to this video or please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and I will see you next time.